we are discussing about construction of a transistor. So, and we will also discuss about transistor biasing. Here we can observe two types of transistors. One is NPN and the second one is PNP. So, in this NPN transistor, we have three regions. Emitter, base, and Out of which emitter is heavily loaded. Base is light load. And the collector is moderately load. So, here there are two PN junctions. One is emitter junction and the second one is collector junction. So here we can observe two depletion regions. At the depletion region width is more towards the base. At the emitter junction because emitter is heavily doped and the base is lightly doped. At the depletion region width at the collector junction also it is more towards the Base region and less towards the collector region. So we can observe here there is a difference in the depletion region width at the two sides. The depletion region width is always more in the lightly doped region. That that point we have already discussed in the diode. Now here there is only for the convenience, I am drawing some lines here. This is the depletion region and this is the depletion region. And in this depletion region, in the p-type semiconductor, what type ions are observed? Negatively charged ions. So I am representing some negatively charged ions. So negatively charged ions are there. In n-type semiconductor, positively charged ions. Very good. Positively charged ions are there. Positively charged ions are there. So here, character area should be more. In n-type semiconductor, positively charged ions are there. Emitter junction can be forward bias and the collector junction can be reverse bias. 
and in theoretically they are thinking that in this combination because it is followed by a emitter junction is offering few ohms of resistance and the conductor junction is offering mega ohms of resistance the electrons 100 electrons might not reach the collector if the electrons are reaching the collector they might be 20 or 10 or 5 or 15 like that they they have thought but to their surprise out of 100 electrons almost 95 electrons reach the collector then after seeing this phenomenon they have wondered the circuit is offering few ohms of resistance and the next circuit is offering mega ohms of resistance next circuit is offering mega ohms of resistance so it is like whenever we are giving a current to this combination current always the electrons tries to flow in the low resistance path only but to their surprise they have observed the current in this both circuits is same so it is violating the normal rules of electrical principles they wanted to explain this phenomenon and they used one particular term this is possible only when this resistance is transferring from this place to this place they called that property as transfer of transfer of resistance this is called as transistance transistance and the device which is obeying it is called as transistor so this transistor is amplifying when it is connected in the forward bias emitter junction is forward bias and the collector junction is reverse bias when emitter junction is forward bias and the collector junction is reverse bias it is simply acting like an amplifier so transistor act, acts like an amplifier in which region? active region transistor is acting like an on switch in? chassis region it is acting like an off switch in? and off region it is simply acting like a resistor in? Digital electronics, whenever we want to use the transistor, then it has to be operated in saturation region and the cutoff region. region. Whenever we want to amplify our signal, then we use the transistor in the active region. Okay, in generally, we do not use the inverse active region. Okay, transistor can be biased in how many possible ways? Four four ways. ways. Out of which three are very important to us. Okay, one is saturation region and, and cutoff region and active region. Okay, this is about transistor bias. So here you can observe this is an NPN transistor. This is a PNP transistor. Whatever we have done here, the same thing is applicable to here. But whenever we are connecting a, so here the positive, the forward bias means to the PNP transistor. Positive terminal of the battery is connected to P, and the negative terminal is connected to N. Negative terminal is connected to N and positive terminal is connected to P. This is forward bias. So this is forward bias and this is forward bias. Now I want emitter junction to be forward bias and the collector junction to be reverse bias. Now this PNP transistor is acting like a amplifier. This PNP transistor is in working in active region. Okay? So all the four sets of combinations this PNP transistor and NPN transistor, both transistors can be biased in four possible ways.